Hello Internet, Lutes here. I've wanted to make a video on Gree for a while, as it's what I consider to be one of the most beautiful and creative games I've seen in years. Gree is a platforming game which takes advantage of the character's evolving abilities and the player's skill growth over time. When the game first starts, the player character, Mel, can only walk back and forth. When the game begins in earnest, she can jump. Over time, other abilities are learned, such as heavy and swim. Skills learned in the past are integrated into future levels with finesse, and the use of those abilities are generally intuitive. As I played, I found myself growing more adept and capable, more confident. Each ability is introduced in a new environment which fits it, and the world spaces are cleverly engineered to ensure that the player is well prepared to use new abilities in the future by overcoming challenges and solving puzzles which engage one's imagination. But for all the things that make Gree a worthy game to play, it is the art and narrative that really steal the show. The backgrounds, the foregrounds, the environments and sound design, the detail and polish and the soundtrack are inspired and carefully constructed, taking Gree from another game in the library to a work of high art. This is because the world spaces, the challenges, the music, even the gameplay mechanics are all both the outgrowth of and perfect support for the narrative. Mel has experienced a great loss, and as she moves through the stages of the game, she moves through the stages of grief. While everyone grieves differently, I found that I was personally invested in that journey and that I was taking it myself. By playing this game, I reopened broken parts of myself that I hadn't really healed very well, mending things that I had little more than limped through. When I started playing Gree, I was playing because I thought it was beautiful. By the end, I had been so emotionally affected by the experience that I found myself working through my own grief and hurt. While at first, I was controlling Mel, we became two sides of the same coin, each dealing with different injuries, each with different histories, but alike enough that the separation between player and character almost fell away altogether. When we progressed past an obstacle together, I felt pride and accomplishment. When we learned a new skill, I began to reevaluate my own feelings. The gymnastics we took together were descriptive of the growth in my own mind. Challenges we overcame, things we went through together and grew past, weren't just behind us. We couldn't go back to them. We were stronger than we were before, and there was no going back. A small act of kindness brought a new friend. A storm helped make me stronger, but didn't make me harder. The key used to sing in the last stages of the game still works at the very beginning, but Mel has lost her voice and cannot sing yet. In much the same way, things I lost of myself when I was hurt were restored to me, and I also learned to sing again. I can't go too far in describing Gree because the things I've already said take us to the edge of spoilers, but I can assure you that it is one of the most stunning, impactful, and entirely moving works of gaming I've ever seen, and that I cannot recommend it enough. <laughs>